how to perform the following operation for demonstrating the insertion, updation, deletion and alter. So firstly, I'm Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today I'm going to show you that how can you insert, update, delete and alter using your table of a following database. So the table which we have insert, used for the insertion query is college and we have to insert values that is roll number, student name, the department, section and the phone number of that student. Similarly, you have to insert another value for the same. So firstly, let's do the insertion part. You can see that I have inserted the value of the first student and now I'm going to insert the value for for the second value, I have also inserted that is college values in which student roll number, name is Alicia, her department is ME, mechanical engineering, section is A and the phone number. So this is how we do the insertion. And if you want to see the output, then you have to use the select query that select asterisk from. And to do that, let's run the select query and once show you the output, you can see. So this is how the select query runs and select from college. You can see that the two values have been inserted. We have to insert further values in the fields, roll number, name and section, which means we are not inserting the department and the phone number. So you can also insert the values into specific columns also. So to do that, we can insert in the specific columns that is in only roll number, name and section. We want to insert the values that is the ID is 104 of is the roll number and the name of student is Aditya. So as it is a string value, so we have to put it in quotes and the section is also string value. So put it in quotes and then hit the query. The query is okay and no rows have been, if uh, one row is affected. That means this row has been inserted to the table. Similarly, for the other queries also, let's run those queries too. Next is for roll number 105, Nitya. Okay, and we have to put the values in string values in double quotes because it is string. It would show you an error. Number values are no need to be put in quotes because it won't show any error. And now the values have to be inserted. So let's hit this query. Okay, no rows have been affected. Next person is Anaya, section C and roll number is 106. Okay, so let's edit it. Her section is C and the name is Anaya and the val roll number is 106. So, okay, we have executed the queries and when we run the select command, we can see that the values which we have not inserted as we have inserted in groups only for roll number, name and section. So, those values are left null. Otherwise, all the values have been inserted into the table. The output is quite similar to this. Next is updation query. I need to update a thing and what I need to set is I want to set the name Amit where the roll number is 104. So for roll number 104 I need to save the name as Amit. So okay no issues with this query. Let's run this query in my command line. I want to set the name as Amit where roll number is 104. Query okay it means the updation is done. Now how to check that the updation is done? Let's see by using the select command. Yes, it is done. Now we can see that the name is not Aditya here. The name is Amit. Why? Because the roll number 104, I want to set the name as Amit. So the name Amit is there in place of Aditya. Next is updating multiple columns. If you want to update multiple columns, then what you're going to do? So update college and set name Atulya where department is ECE and roll number is 105. So we want to run this query and we can check it by using select command. 
so the query is okay now let's see what changes have been made in the table yes changes made is the roll number is 105 the name earlier was nitya but now the name is atulya also the department has changed earlier the department was null now it is ece so these are the changes which we have made or we have used used using updating multiple columns for deleting if i want to delete a row from my table where the name is ananya okay so let's see how can we delete it here the name is anaya okay we will change it that way is then so here the name which i have used is anaya no issues we will make the name as anaya and yes the query is okay now let's see yes the entry is deleted now there are only four rows that means one row one entry is been deleted from the table similarly you could delete multiple uh, records also how could you do that by deleting the multiple records where the section is a it means all the students from section a their data that record is to be deleted so let's see yes two rows affected why because there are two student alisha and amit from section a so when you run the select query now then only two would be left because where section a is there those two students have been deleted that is what we do deleting multiple records if you want to delete all the records then you can simply delete from college or delete asterisk from college as you run the select query similarly you can run the delete query to delete all the records now let's move on to the alter query alter query you can uh, use for modifying the table for that you use alter so alter table is used to add delete drop or modify the columns of existing table for example if you want to drop a column in our database there is a it's quite different from here the table is roll number name department section and phone number so if you want to do that then the syntax is alter table name drop column and the column name okay fine so if i want to do with this here the table is different i am going to use my table in which i am currently working on so alter table and our table name is college okay and i want to drop the column phone the query is okay and two rows are affected means if now i run the select command then the phone number is not there you can see earlier there are five columns now there are only four columns which means i have altered the table and i have dropped a column also next is if i want to modify suppose if i want to modify my table by adding another column and name then i could use modify in that case what i have to do is alter table school add what field i want to add its data type and its if you want to specify the data size it's up to you so that's how i can do it if i want to add columns to my existing table so let's do it here they have added age and subject okay fine we are going to add age and subject in our table so firstly our table name is college and i want to add age and i want to add subject also let's hit the query so we can see that the age and subject field would be included in the table structure so that's how we modify and we drop using the alter query and what we have used in this is insertion updation deletion and then alter for the next queries we will look into more videos thank you